What's going on guys? The kid Chris Kazama, PKZ. What's happening? Um, I was gonna bring you guys my Grand Theft Auto 5 review today, but the online just really started working for PS3 users like last night. Like I was able to actually sign on last night and finally play some of it. And uh, I played this morning before I went to work. So when I do a review, like I really want to give you guys the full review of the single player and the online uh, aspect of the game. So I'm gonna hold that off till tomorrow. But today I want to talk about um, a recent article that came out about Yoshida talking about the lifespan of the PS3. Now pretty much what he said was that he is skeptical about the PS3 having um, a long lifespan like the PS2. And I mean anybody that really thinks about this in depth because before I made this video I really thought about it to myself as I read the article and it makes a lot of sense. I mean you got to really think about it. like. Put the PS3 against the PS2. The PS2 was the go-to console of last gen. The PS2 was the word of mouth console. And like I said before in some of my earlier videos is that the Xbox 360 of this gen was the PS2. It was the word of mouth console. Now I'm not saying that it is as good as the PS2 because in my opinion the PS2 just had too many classics as far as first party titles and third party titles but when it comes to go to consoles this generation as far as the casual market it was the Xbox 360 but when it comes to the PS2 the library was just too strong and I think a lot of people underestimated the PS2 for how long it actually lived because the PS2 really just died what January of 2013 but I'm gonna get back to that in a second what the term a, a, a dead console what does that mean to me now back to the ps3 he pretty much said that he thinks that it'll live for the next two or three years and i could easily see that happening and i think what a lot of people are forgetting is you know first of all number one with ps4 we're gonna have the gaikai cloud service and that's gonna have not only ps1 games ps2 games but last generation ps3 games so like, you know, besides the casual market, we already know that we don't need a PS3 because, I mean, people like me, you know, I'm going to keep my PS3. I'm just going to, what I've decided to do since I'm not trading it in towards the PS4 is I'm just going to keep it in a stack of games that I didn't get to play or games that I actually did play that I want to uh, rebuy. But um, a lot of people out there, they don't really need a PS3 anymore. And the casual market, you know, of course, they're going to go buy one because, you know, there's going to be a price drop. Just like with the PS2, when the PS3 came out, you know, of course, people are going to go buy the PS3 because it's brand new. But if people can't afford a PS3, what's the next best thing to buy? PS2. So when we have the PS4 come out next month, if you can't afford a PS4, what's the next best thing to buy? PS3. So, you know, I don't... When he said that, I don't think he meant as in it being weak because, of course, you know, you still got a lot of AAA titles releasing for the PS3. I mean, just look at this year. You know, you got God of War Ascension. You got The Last of Us, which looks graphically fucking amazing. You got games like Beyond Two Souls, with the story is crazy, and it looks graphically fucking amazing. And then you got games that are coming out next year on next-gen consoles that are still releasing on PS3. You know, you got games like Watch Dogs, you got games like Destiny. You know, you got a whole bunch of stuff that's still gonna be releasing on the PS3, even though the PS4 is gonna be out. But at the same time though, a lot of that stuff for us, we're not gonna need a PS3 because we can just get the games back on Gaikai. So really, but that whole thing is kinda like 50-50. It's like, you know, if you wanna keep your PS3, you'll have it, boom. With If you don't wanna keep your PS3, then hey, you got Gaikai, boom, there it goes. Now, as far as the PS3 being a dead console, I don't see it being a dead console. The way I look at dead consoles is, I mean, like technically, a dead console is a console that gets little to no support at all. And the only console we can really say that about recently, this gen is the Wii. Because the Wii, you know, I think the last game they got on the Wii was Pandora's Tower. But besides that, it doesn't get anything else it's a dead console you know what I'm saying but like the way I feel about dead consoles is it's like it's all up to you like for me the PS2 is not dead I still got my PS2 you know what I'm saying I probably still have my PS2 when the PS4 comes out and when Gaikai comes out because I just I'd rather have 
the physical copies of the games that I have and I'd rather have the PS2. I'd probably go get a PS1 just to make the whole family. You know what I'm saying? Like a dead console is what you make it. You know what I'm saying? So as far as the PS3 being a dead console, I don't think it'll ever be dead, but it just its appeal won't last as long as the PS2's because the PS2's library is just insane, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know you got AAA titles and gems in the PS3 uh, library, you know, like the Uncharted's, the Infamous's, the Kill Zones, you know, shit like that, but it's just not as big as the PS2's library. I mean, anybody right to this day can go pick up a PS2, and there's thousands of games you can play for the PS2 and you can never get bored because there's just so many games and there's a lot of games on PS3 as well but it just it, there's just not enough to hold that appeal especially when the next gen console is coming with an app where you can buy all this stuff on that system and play you know I think that's another main reason why the PS2 really didn't die off that quick with the PS3 is because you know unless you had the, the fat PS3 that first came out with the backwards compatibility you couldn't play PS2 games and now most of the PS3's that come out matter of fact all the PS3 that come out they don't have backwards compatibility so it's either you go buy a PS2 or you have the old fat PS3 that's your options until Gaikai comes out so I think that's another reason why the PS2 took so long to really like quote unquote die. Now a console I do see on the short path to dying not any time soon but it won't stay relevant as long as the PS3 is actually the Xbox 360 and I say this because if you look at the PS3 and the Xbox 360 you have the PS3 even to this day with a next generation console like right around the corner it's still consistently dropping AAA titles of course we're gonna see a decrease in AAA titles for the PS3 because of course like I said in the article, a lot of the big name studios that work with Sony are moving over to the next gen. But at the same time, you're still seeing AAA titles while we're around the corner from next gen. With the Xbox 360, we haven't seen anything big from them like literally all year. And we don't know if we're going to see anything big from them next year. Like, it won't be as relevant when the Xbox One comes out. It, it'll just be one of those consoles where like, you know what, this this was the go-to console this gen. It had some good games, but that's it. And I feel like the PS3, it, it, it I mean, if Sony keeps doing what they're doing, because of course, you know, you're going to have the indie titles. Of course, you're going to have, you know, some third-party support. And maybe here and there, you'll see a AAA title for the PS3, which that won't last long now that the PS4 is going to be out. But if they keep doing what they're doing, like the PS3 is going to be relevant for a while. So I, th I just think a lot of people are just worried that they have a PS3 for no reason now. Like I said, my main reason for keeping the PS3 now is that I love my PS3. Um, I'm going to just go back and start getting a whole bunch of games that I didn't get a chance to play or that I skipped out on. And that's my use for the PS3 pretty much so you guys let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about this whole thing about the lifespan of the ps3 being shorter than the ps2 uh are you trading your ps3 in uh are you going to keep your ps3 you know what use are you going to have for your ps3 when the ps4 comes out let me know in the comment section below subscribe if you haven't my name is chris kazama until next time 